Welcome to my messy but productive drawing room. I've got two drawings here that I did a few years ago. I've never been happy with the tonal values in either of them. I feel they're both too pale and insipid and in the time since I've worked at becoming bolder in my tonal contrast. So some of these earlier ones really annoy me now. So I'm going to take my markers to these two drawings again and try and increase the tonal contrast. Then we can compare the results and I hope encourage all of us to not be so timid or scared of mistakes that we hold back on the final touches that can really make our drawings come alive. So let's see if we can't improve them, eh? I've desaturated these videos because the blue undertones in the gray ink that I've used respond strangely to the changing light of the afternoon sun. So to keep it looking more even, I found I had to take that little bit of color out. Basically what I'm doing is I'm looking at the darkest parts of this and I'm going darker, working out what pens I used in the first place and then yeah, pushing for one a bit darker. I'm not using my reference photo. There is a point where I think it's best to put the reference photo away and just do what works best for the, for the actual drawing, the actual artwork. People looking at this later aren't going to be comparing it to the reference. So if giving a little more contrast works better for your drawing or if removing a few of the details, even if uh, subduing some of the contrast has a better overall effect, I think that's all quite legitimate. In fact, a fairly sensible thing to do with the artwork. So I'm, I'm really going quite dark for just a couple of areas, partly the dark from shade or shadow and partly the dark coming from the local color. Once I've got these larger areas in, they help me then read the other shaded, shadowed areas that I want to do. I, I do use darker tones to also highlight just some of the architectural details, especially some of these chimney pots down the front. I decide to make the darkest spots the inside of some of these window panes which I think centers the darkest tones in the center of the drawing quite nicely. I'm a little more restrained in the background because if I go too dark it'll make the background come forwards and I still don't want to do that but because I've adjusted the closest tones to darker shades I can do that to a little degree further back without that actually happening. How do you think it's looking? This took me 20 minutes to do. I think it's improved it. What do you think? And now we'll go into our second drawing that I wanted to rework, our Paris interior scene. Now in life, this is a lot more pale than it looks on camera. There must be something about the ink pigments that somehow the camera picks up and intensifies. If it looked like this in real life, I probably would have left it because this is in some ways a more delicate scene and more delicate lighting, I do take it more carefully. Sometimes I'm just using the same pen that I used originally, but I'm applying more ink of the same color, which does have a slightly intensifying effect. But it's important to get those darkest tones in place because we read tonal values off other tones that are already there. I want to make sure I keep the lightest part light. I mean, I'm not going to go into creating the effect of interior light, but there's just a little more attention to be paid and a bit more sensitivity to be had with exactly where I put the darks and more importantly, where I don't put any tone at all. So I'm really just not making any great changes to my original pattern of putting the ink in, but just in selected parts, making it darker. So hopefully the light tones are read as lighter and there's a stronger effect of light happening than the all over washed out look, which I thought the original had and that made me unhappy with it. I wanted a greater sense of interior light, which usually means we have to put some more darks in since we actually can't put any more light in than white. So it's sort of a reverse mentality to create light. We actually create the dark, which then shows the light. I work at this. Finish this last bit up in the corner and then there's the reveal again and how do you think this one looks? We'll look at the original and the recreated ones side by side next and you can just see what the effect was. 
since I no longer have the before drawing, this is the best I can do to show you the difference between the before and after. But I hope it gives an idea of the change that's taken place by adjusting the tonal values and being a little bolder in the contrast we provide. And here's that same comparison with our interior scene. I wasn't trying to create the same large difference between the first and second version, but I did want to intensify the contrast between the lightest and the darkest areas for a more subtle but still significant effect. I'm happy with the way this one turned out. So let's have a look at our two reworked drawings now in natural light, in natural colour. This is the best I can do, and this is a fair representation of them. What do you think? I think they've both been significantly improved, particularly the one on the left. It's interesting to use this exercise just to chart my own growing confidence to use darker tonal values, create stronger contrasts, and I think end up often, usually, hopefully, with a much more effective looking artwork from it. It just gives us a lot more options to play with to create different effects. And it doesn't always mean we have heavy handed darks. Sometimes it just means we manipulate a fairly delicate tonal range, such as in the second drawing, with a little more confidence and just tweaking it that little bit more to bring out the feeling, the mood, the light effects that we want to. I'm Stephen Travers. I hope you found this interesting. I certainly have. Why not try and be a little bolder? and not be worried about ruining the work, but instead be working really hard to learn because that's the only way we move forward with this. And this has been a great learning experience for me as well. Hope so for you. Bye.